Hello happy friends, are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah and today we're going to play a Q&A game about some very slimy animals. Today we're going to learn about amphibians. Do you know how adult amphibians breathe? Let's see the options. The first one, they breathe through their gills. The second one, they breathe through their skin and lungs. Or the third one, they only breathe through their lungs. That's surprising. They breathe both through their lungs and skin. Let's learn a little more about these animals' reproduction. The word amphibian means both lives, and it means that although they are considered land animals, their lives commence in waters. This makes their respiratory system change according to their growth. When they are just born, they are tadpoles or larva, and they live in water, so they breathe through gills. When they grow up and become adults, they live mostly on land, Therefore, their respiratory system changes and they breathe through their lungs. Because their lungs are so small, they also get help to breathe through their skin. That's so interesting! Amphibians really believe that breathing is the most important thing, don't you think? They even breathe through their skin! Now I'm going to ask you a very easy question. Do you know what we call the changes amphibians go through from when they leave the egg until they become adults? 1. Modificosis 2. Structural changes or 3. Metamorphosis Exactly! It's metamorphosis. Almost all of you knew it, didn't you? Let's look at what it consists of. Metamorphosis is a process in which the body of amphibians undergoes changes. When they leave the eggs, they are larva or tadpoles, like these. But, little by little, front and hind legs start to appear and their heads and bodies start changing until becoming almost identical to their parents. Amphibians never stop surprising me. They're super interesting animals. Let's go for the last question. Which one of these animals is an amphibian? One, a frog. Two, a lizard. Or three, a tortoise. I knew it, it was the frog, because lizards and tortoises are reptiles. Let's get to know amphibians' characteristics so you don't get them confused with reptiles, which happens sometimes. Amphibians, like frogs or toads, have naked skin, and they always need to have it wet. Therefore, they live near water. They are cold-blooded and oviparous animals, that means they reproduce through eggs. As a fun fact, you should know that amphibians are classified into two big groups. Amphibians without tails, like frogs and toads, and amphibians with tails, like newts or salamanders. Well, happy friends, I hope you've answered all of these questions correctly. But if you haven't, it's okay, because the most important thing is that you've learnt lots of things about amphibians and, of course, that you've had a lots of fun. Goodbye, happy friends. See you next time, and I hope you're always ready to learn. Goodbye.